everyone, welcome to another quick Greenleaf Terrain Studio update. I just have some things to show for Client Iron Norway. So there's two more of these guys, but they're not they're just over there. So these guys are they have like a light in the back, all the signs, all these signs will be picked out with different things, and then there'll be like posters and stuff on the backs, and then room to get bits in there and stuff and stuff on all these. Uh, there's three different little uh, shelf guys and one of the buildings is fully black so you got all the bullet holes and some windows and doors. These are casted windows and doors that are made of resin and I figured out how. Got some lights on here. I might have to retouch up this base but that's okay. Um, figured out how to hook it. I was going to do magnets or whatever, but I just, this whole thing is based, it's hardboard and then foam core, but it hooks really nicely. I don't have another building right now, but there are, all these buildings are pretty much the same height. And then there's other ones there. So it hooks on there, and then got a nice little staircase down, staircase on both sides. And there's this little guy gonna get uh, glowy object source lighting out that like a generator building and I'll be painting a lot tonight and the last thing is I have got a bunch of work done on this uh, base so there's gonna be a little bit of like staircase deal uh, that you can't actually get the miniatures on the on the stairs but they'll be too short it'll be kind of like platform and everything has like six inch movement. Anyways, it'll be playable, very playable. But it'll look more realistic. And then you got this glass door that can come out. Plastic card and lights that'll go down, lights that can shoot off. There's actually a little uh, hand keypad that I'll obviously pick out. So that's separate to be painted. I have a alternative uh, way to get up to the top. So this one is kind of this is too much of a slope to put miniatures, but you can put miniatures here, and this is a little bit less of a area, so you can kind of get on a platform and work your way on the top. There is magnets. The green stuff isn't dry right now, but you can see on the back of here there's magnets, and this guy, it actually, it'll suck down. It's sucking down right now, but just leave that aside. So I need to wait for all these, uh, all these blocks that I put on to dry. And then I can carve them all up and blend it in um, for it looks. Some of the rocks are going to come up to the top and uh, make it look like this has been built into the rocks. Um, some of the facade will be get some brickwork done. Uh, but I need to wait for everything to uh, dry here. I just finished laying it all out. And the big cliff on the back there. So all the all the tiles are in. There's a spot. This is going to be like kind of like the medical base of the. Uh, there's going to be. This going to be like a raised area. Uh, some water effects in here, and uh, it'll be like a gene pool type of thing. So there'll be water effects, a raised area, and then some little uh, like cylinders filled with fluid or whatever. And this is removable right now, just for uh, painting. But that will be the blast door for a potential extended project but this is just the big base for this project and then this client instead of swinging doors wanted removable blast doors so I didn't make them as high because I thought it looked better with them being down they didn't blend in so much and I just used some uh, H-beams or I-beams I think they're H-beams uh, plastic card bits and these guys just slide in out nice, nice and neat and I'll just make sure that I'll, I'll do a bunch of plastic card work to all these guys. I'm waiting on, I don't have any L left, so I need to get some L's for all my corners, and I'll put some strips and lights in here and everything. And when I do that, I'll do the doors, but I'll make sure that this little gap here is not put, and no, no uh, plastic cards on that gap for it slides nicely all the time. Uh, there's another one here, can't get out right now because I taped that for some super glue. And then the, There'll be that guy. Uh, I could potentially make another one here, but I thought it was nicer just to have 
this center of room which would be the uh, like little armory this is going to be some main consoles and stuff and mm, yeah there's space for some stuff back here I have, I have a bunch of barrels and stuff to go in here I have computer consoles and uh, some bunk beds so bunk beds can get put in here and everything and you know you don't, you don't want a lot of room for, for miniatures to move but I want it to be detailed out uh, there'll be posters again on the walls and signs everywhere uh, so Stay tuned. Sorry if this is going to be quick. We are like five minutes. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll have more videos to come.